Either you shoot or I do. A lot of things for you weren't possible before today. What you experienced, Lester, was not a panic attack. Your heart was beating in excess of 400 beats per minute, sending abundant amounts of adrenaline into your bloodstream. This allows you to see and react faster than normal. Only a few people in the world can do that. Your father could do it, and you can do it. With a little work, you can learn to control these attacks. Stay away from me. Just stay back from me. I, I have a gun, sir. All right. My name is Sloan. This is Fox. And the others you see around you are all very good at killing. So if I were you, I'd keep the gun pointed at me. You don't want to point it at any of them. That's better. You're insane. No. Insanity is wasting your life as a nothing when you have the blood of a killer flowing in your veins. Insanity is being shit on, beat down, coasting through life in a miserable existence when you have a caged lion locked inside and the key to release it. This gun you're holding is an Emanishi 17. It belonged to your father. He could conduct a symphony orchestra with it. And you're going to use it to kill the man who shot him down in cold blood. The same man who tried to kill you tonight. Your father was one of us. A fraternity of assassins. The weapons of fate. We've transferred all of his assets over to you. And let me assure you, they are substantial. It is your long-awaited destiny to join us. Back off. Back off. You, you don't know anything about me. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Would you stay away from me? Would you stay away from me, please? Would you let me through? have a dream and you're half awake but it's still in the fringe of your brain and then you open your eyes and you're so damn glad it was a dream this was nothing like that Thanks. Oh. 
Disney. Hey, what's up with you? What do you mean? Uh, you're... You're here early. <laughs> is, uh, is there... You seem a little pepped up. You all right? Well, yeah. Yeah. I guess I feel... kind of different. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go get some uh, post-it notes. Do you want one? No. Really? Yeah. Okay. Jesus H. Fucking popsicle. I still don't have my billing reports, but you've got time to sit here and Google your ass off. Well, I know one thing. You've got your review coming up next week, and I can't wait to start checking me off some big f***ing boxes. Attitude. Poor performance. Poor management skills. Poor works well with others. Ha! That's a f***ing joke. What is this bullshit? Who's this prick? Some loser gets his head blown off in the metro. Shut the f*** up! She has one single iota of tenuous power. She thinks she can push everyone around? You don't need this. I understand. Junior high must have been kind of tough, but it doesn't give you the right to treat your workers like horseshit, Janice. I know we laugh at you, Janice. We all know you keep a stash of jelly donuts in the top drawer of your desk. But I want you to know that if you weren't such a bitch, would feel sorry for you. I do feel sorry for you. But as it stands, the way you behave, I feel I can speak for the entire office. What I tell you? Go f yourself. Great, bro. Who's the man? I'm the man. <laughs>